one of the biggest problem of season 4 was how Twilight Life as a princess haven't changed that much. Of course we had episodes like Twilight Time, but we also had episodes like Rarity Takes Manhattan, where other ponies practically doesn't really care about her status, treating her like every other pony. But after seeing first 13 episodes of season 5, maybe there is some reason for her underutilized title in season 4. I mean, now in most episodes it have some meaning, but back then it wasn't. And after thinking about, I see a possible explanation. Her title wasn't everything. Somehow, more I was thinking about it. At some point, I don't know why, I remember some stories of Robin Hood, mainly those mentioning Prince John, known as John Lackland. I put it in simple. If, even if he was prince, he had no power as royal because he had no castle, no land and no title since Lackland was only his nickname. And that was the reason why he was usurping the throne during the absence of his brother, King Richard Lionheart. And that brought me to the point I found the explanation for the tre treatment Twilight received. Maybe. Other ponies do recognize her as loyalty, royalty, since the show is still telling us Alicorn equal princess, but they also do know she had no castle, no land and no title as princess and that pretty much means she doesn't have as much capabilities as Celestia or even Cadence and the best she could do was being the mediator or on traders exchange in Tradia or smile and wave in Twilight's kingdom. And that might be the hidden part of Princess Twilight arc, as I call it, in Season 4, since the main and obvious plot in it was to prepare her to take her full responsibility as royalty in Season 5. This could also somehow explain from plot viewpoint why Kanin's first appeared in Season 2 finale, but nowhere before. Before Season 3 opening, she was much at the same Spart Twilight was in season 4, and everything changed since she became a ruler of Crystal Empire, making her a princess with land, castle, title and royal powers. The more I think about it, I still presume both of those were somehow intended that way and the similarities with John Lackland might be intended or not. But there's still a weak point. Ponyville. Its citizens still treat Twilight the same way now she they used in, to in season 4. But possible explanation that this is a small town where everyone know each other and they just know her to the point, they just comfortable with her and presence and they also know Twilight doesn't want any special treatment from them. But what about falls in Twilight time, you ask? Well, ask yourself a question. Do you know a kid that wouldn't gasping when he or she had a chance to meet favorite celebrity? I think that was the point of the false behavior back then, to show this stereotype. So, as always, I want to know your opinion in the comments. Did I convince you or maybe not? Or maybe you have another explanation for how Twilight was treated as presented in Season 4. Also, remember to rate, subscribe and until next time, thanks for watching.